I filled up a stainless steel bottle with water, left it in my car for a week, and did a series of bacteria tests using this kit off Amazon. Let's just say the results were kind of revolting. So if you or someone you know have struggled to clean your bottle regularly, hopefully this video will be the motivation you need to pick up this healthy habit. This is Bottle Pro, and I promote health through hydration by testing a lot of bottles so you can find the right one. If you're new to the channel, welcome. So I set up two different tests. The goal of the first test was to see how much bacteria growth occurred with each successive day, mainly around the contact points like the spout and the seals. First, I took two samples of water from our reverse osmosis system, including a full bottle sample in this freshly cleaned 32 ounce Awala, and a smaller sample in this little plastic vial that came with that bacteria test kit. The vial is going to be saved for test two, but I took the sample at the same time, and you'll see why later in the video. And if you're not familiar with RO water, it's basically extremely filtered, and it's one of the cleanest types of water you can get. We have this under the sink system because PFAS is pretty bad in our area, and they're not that expensive, so in my opinion, a small system like this for drinking water and washing food is a pretty good investment in your health. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments because I'm a really big fan. I sampled the Owala in a few places by swabbing the spout, the seal, and around the rim and rim seal with three clean swabs and spread them on different thirds of a petri dish. Then I put the petri dish in this incubator for three days, which kept the temperature right around 100 degrees Fahrenheit to encourage bacterial growth. The Awala then went back into the hot car, and after another 24 hours, I took one sip and one chug to simulate some use, then repeated the same sampling method on a new petri dish. I repeated this entire process over one week, taking pictures of each sample after three days in the incubator. Now before we look at the results, let's do a little biology refresher because that can give you some context for what you're about to see. To go straight to the test results, you can skip to this point in the video. Bacteria are very small organisms found pretty much everywhere in nature and in you. Some of them are good, but others can be bad and lead to health issues. The problem is they're too small to see on their own without a microscope, so they could easily be hiding and living the good life in your water bottle without you even knowing it. But there are two features of bacteria that you can use to study them more easily. First, they grow through binary fission, which is basically one bacteria splitting into two. So they tend to multiply next to each other. And second, they grow very rapidly under the right conditions. Because of these two things, one common way to study bacteria is to take samples with a cotton swab from a surface, then rub that on a petri dish, which is basically just a plastic dish with something like agar, which is a natural gelatin that is both food for the bacteria and a stable surface for it to grow on. Then you put the petri dish in what's called an incubator that keeps a consistent warm temperature that accelerates the bacterial growth. And very soon, clusters of bacteria called colonies will form, and those are visible to the naked eye. As mentioned before, each one of these petri dishes has samples from three parts of the Owala, the spout, the spout seal, and around the rim. After three days in the incubator, the first sample taken right after filling the bottle showed fairly low amounts of bacteria growth. There are a few colonies and groupings, but it's not too widespread. But that changes when you look at the next sample, which was taken after 24 hours in the car and one sip and one chug from the spout. The rim seal in particular showed a lot more bacterial growth, but the spout and spout seal were still low, but after 48 hours in the car and two sips and chugs, you start to see more growth from the spout and the spout seal. And on the days after that, the samples start to look similar, and you can see high levels of bacterial growth from all sampled parts of the bottle. Now, I had planned to take samples from seven consecutive days, but I stopped it here for three reasons. Number one, the samples started looking very similar. Number two, the agar base and the petri dishes started to split, and I was concerned that the later samples might look artificially better if the growth medium was more dried out or if the temperature was off. And number three, the bottle and petri dishes started smelling so absolutely terrible that I didn't want to take sips from the bottle anymore. And that would have changed how each day was tested. And to really hammer home the point about the smell, it was atrocious. It was certainly a lot worse in the petri dish where the bacterial growth was accelerated and concentrated, but the bottle was terrible too. Overall, this test shows that it doesn't take long for bacteria to start growing on all parts of your bottle, which is why you should clean it regularly and often. 
Remember that little vial of fresh, clean RO water? I kept that stored indoors for seven days, then sampled it on this Petri dish. Then I dipped swabs in the Owala, which had been in the car for seven days, and put that on this other Petri dish. Here are the results from each one after one day in the incubator. Even though the RO water is very pure, some bacteria grew on that Petri dish because it's difficult to completely avoid bacteria with this kind of setup. But there was clearly more starting bacteria from the Owala sample, and you can see how that led to a lot more growth and larger colonies. After two days, the colonies on both samples had grown even more, but the Owala was still a lot worse. Interestingly, on day three, they kind of look similar to how they did on day two, but the main takeaway is that the Owala sample was always worse. This is why it's also a good idea to refill your bottle with fresh, clean water every day if you can, because it's not just the surfaces on the seals and the spout that build up bacteria, they can also exist in the water. Overall, unlike the Petri dishes, the moral of this story is is very clear. While your water bottle makes it a lot easier to improve your health through better hydration, it's also a germ magnet and can lead to health concerns if you don't clean it regularly. Ideally, you'd clean it after every single use, but for most people, that's not realistic. Here's a video with our recommended daily, weekly, and monthly cleaning schedules, and if your bottle smells musty, please wash it. Remember, when in doubt, clean it out. Hope this helps, and happy hydrating.